Hi, I'm Alan Leitner with Expert Village. We're talking about playing steel pans and fitting into various musical situations or ensembles. If you're going to play with uh, an ensemble and perhaps be the leader of that ensemble or even fit in as a side man, if you will, an accompanying member, not the leader of the band, uh, it's going to help you if you can learn harmony, if you can learn to play chords. That way you can play melodies if you're actually playing that or when it's someone else's turn to play melodies, you can also fit in and support that melody, so support whoever is playing the melody, like the guitar player would, or like uh, the piano player would. So it's going to be important for you to learn harmony and to learn to play chords. Uh, it's a little tricky and it takes some time and it does take some know-how, uh, but uh, starting out learning a scale would really help. And the one most people start with is a C scale. Usually start that because of how it works on the piano, but we'll do it, we'll do it here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And when you get your steel pans for the first time, typically the notes will be written all, all on, on each note. They'll be written in, even on these drums, even though I've been playing forever. When you get your drums for the first time, the notes will be written in. They're not written in here, just because I know now. But I'll just do that scale again really quickly. That C scale, C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and back to C. B, A, G, F, E, D, C. And that is C, that's middle C on the piano, if you were to go there. The, way, the easiest way to begin experimenting with chords is to uh, play every other note in that scale. Starting on the first note, the C, the second note was here, D, and then the third note was E. So if I played the first and the third, or every other note, together, we get a nice sounding chord. I could also do that starting on the second note of the scale. We, we did, the scale was C, D, so that's the second note. If I wanted to keep this, I could still play every other note. In other words, from the D, the next one was here at E, and the one after that was F. So if I skipped one, I also get a nice chord there. By the same token, I could take a start from the third and get to this note. We went, so I'd play these two notes together. 